it going? Today I'm going to be turning the eco lifestyle dollhouse into a real home in The Sims 4. This build challenge is something I've done before with other dollhouses, so I think this is going to be okay. This is the dollhouse that I'm talking about. This one's from The Sims 4 Eco Lifestyle, and it is cardboard and not a like traditional home design. It's definitely a very different style of dollhouse. Uh, so I'm going to take this and try and build a real functional home in The Sims 4 right next to it. <laughs> if you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I always do Sims 4 build challenges on the daily. Hit that like button if you guys like the video and let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is put the tree. There's a big tree right there. That seems easy enough, right? If I can get the tree, then at least we've got a start. So let's do this one that looks appropriate to size. And then I think what I'm gonna do for the bottom and just something that I'm gonna be using a lot for this build challenge is probably platforms. Thankfully, we've got this platform tool in The Sims 4. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of copy the bottom part and we do have some rounded edges which is kind of annoying i don't really like to use rounded platforms especially because they can be kind of hard to work around sometimes but i'm gonna go ahead and take this rounded platform and just put that on the edge and i'm gonna have to like shrink it down to size and probably like adjust a little bit okay so i'm gonna do the same thing for the other side and then hopefully i can just kind of like pull them across and make a nice shape and there's also like a little a little entry part right here too yeah okay i think there's a pond on that it's kind of funny because like on this thing there's little markings like there's a pond right there up there it looks like there's a farm a fence in there so I'm gonna have to incorporate like all these like weird things into my build okay so let's go in with the walls so I think I'm gonna end up going in with like glass windows eventually because this is gonna be extremely open so I'm gonna do one wall not quite all the way to the back maybe we'll go to like here same thing on the other side I believe and we'll just kind of connect it like that because it goes through there's like a line that goes through and like all the way up okay and then on top I'm gonna do a platform. I've got my grid on, so I should be able to build like right on top of here with a platform. And uh, should I do the rounded edges on here as well? Probably. Okay, there's that part. Let's do the next part. So there's gonna be like a wall straight down the middle, like here, maybe slightly over, and then one more like platform on top of that. And then also there's gonna be like a line going all the way across the middle. Okay, for the roof, I've taken two half gabled roof pieces and kind of just put them together on top there. It's really annoying because I'm gonna have that roof piece underneath, like the wall piece that comes with the roof. But I think what I'm gonna do is maybe instead of just putting one piece of wall up on this floor, maybe like go through like that. Maybe if I do the medium wall height here and then now we're gonna have the height at least. What if I used this tool and went in and did like an actual Room. Like a little one tile, little tiny thing. I'm gonna have to play around with this for a sec, I think. This is some serious roof manipulation going on here. Okay, I've taken this roof and literally like scaled it down to nothing. <laughs> I brought all of the edges in, I made it as small as possible, and I'm gonna use that. See how it's kind of going on a diagonal? I'm doing that. Some people are really good at like manipulating roofing and using it in their builds on the daily. I am not one of those people. So I'm kind of struggling a little bit right now, I won't lie. So I think generally, speaking, this is what our shell is going to look like. I've got all of the platforms here and where they need to be, except for this little one, which I'm going to do kind of over on this side here. Now I think I can try and make it actually look like the cardboard house, but I'm going to be adding things in it so that someone could actually live here. <laughs> so I think I'm going to start putting all of the things that are actually on this thing, like the pond and the fences and the doors and all that stuff. So let's first go and get our flooring. I'm going to use Eco Lifestyle for like the whole thing for now, and then I'll change it up like as we go. And then for the wallpaper, I need something that looks very much like cardboard. <laughs> that is like almost the exact color. That's perfect. Except for the roof. The roof is a little lighter. So let me go in with like that or even this. This is working out pretty well. Honestly, I've tried to do this multiple, multiple times. I've had this video idea for a long time and uh, I don't know what I was doing before. Like it never worked out when I tried to do it before, but like this is working so well. For my trim for my platforms, I'm going to be using this because it literally looks like the cardboard like stitching kind of like not stitching I don't know but you know what I mean okay for flooring there's also kind of like grass around here so I'm just gonna copy it where I think it should go <laughs> maybe I can like make this look better with rocks eventually once I get to the point where I can clean it up and then up top in the back this whole part is like grass as well these bushes we can add any of the doors and like where the windows are supposed to be so for the bushes I feel like they kind of look they're very like cartoony looking what if I like combined these three of those together I feel like that kind of looks like the bush at like different sizes we randomly have like one right in here <laughs> and then there's a 
bunch of them like along the edges. I kind of like how that looks. I might do that more often. Okay, so I've got all of the bushes added on there. There's some on the top, some on the side. Uh, What else? Let's do the pond. The pond is circular. So I'm wondering if I should use like the Get Famous one. Like this one is just really big. Maybe I'll pull the platform out to kind of like meet it or should I just build a platform? I don't know. I think I'm just gonna delete that part of the platform and just put the pond right there. That makes a little bit more sense to me anyway. And then right here, see how there's kind of like these two ladders going up? I think, should I do two ladders? I feel like it kind of looked better with the stairs. If there wasn't this really big upper part of the ladder, I would use it, but the ladder looks okay on that edge. But I think for like this initial part, the stairs maybe looks a little bit better. And then I've got this little circular door right on the edge. Up here, I need to go in with a fence and I feel like I should probably maybe like fence this part in. We need some archways. This is gonna look so cool. Once I put all of like the finishing touches on it and stuff, I just turned on debug so that I can grab these little plant things because I'm gonna put them in where that is supposed to be. So let's shrink them down. I think it kind of makes sense to make this little area dirt. So we're gonna go in at least just there with that dirt flooring. And then for my pathway, I think I'm gonna go and grab the stones, which are also found in base game debug. And I'm just gonna make a little pathway going from this room here all the way kind of to the back. This would have been a lot easier if I could use terrain paint like on flooring, but unfortunately we can't do that. So this is what we've ended up with. And then what else can I add? A little archway up top. That would be really cute to be able to make. I wonder if I could somehow DIY that. <laughs> that kind of worked with this base game window like this one here and just a base game arch as well. Oh my God, this is gonna turn out so cute. I'm like getting very excited. What I'm gonna do now possibly <laughs> is fence this in. I'm gonna close that off and potentially use some really big glass windows along the bottom. And inside there, I think I could probably do my living room and my kitchen. <laughs> We're just gonna have this random bush. Like I think I'm gonna try and put the bushes in like flower pots and that would make sense why they're inside and in the middle of my house. I'm kind of getting like eco fairy home vibes from this. So I'm gonna try and make the inside look a little bit magical. So I've already got my fairy lights going on and my boxed in bushes. I kind of think I could add an archway right here and then do a little dining area in the back. Maybe instead of using the rocks back here, I could use a fence just to kind of like make a little bit of separation. But yeah, out here can be our dining area. These bushes are so in the way, but okay, I have this door here, which I think I'm gonna lead into a tiny bathroom. It kind of works out well that I've decided to do like a one tile wall separation instead of just the one wall, because now I can like fit little things in here, like just tiny little storage things or like a little bathroom. Like I can use my university shower or snowy escape. I mean, why not? And then we have a little functional bathroom in here. Yay, okay, cool. So let's move out of there. We're gonna go into, I need to finish off my kitchen, make sure I have all of my essentials. Fire detector is a must in a home made out of complete paper. <laughs> oh, I think this looks so cute. Okay, so I've done country kitchen for my like kitchen appliances and stuff, dream home decorator, oven. And then I'm using this like journey to bed to like torn rug over here. My dining table, I haven't decided on like the color scheme for out here yet. I was gonna go like very heavy, like bright colorful, but I think the pastel might be the way to go. Like those dulled colors. There, I think that looks a little bit better. And then my trash can, I can kind of just put right here beside the bathroom. And with the lighting and everything, this is what the back section is looking like. Landscaping is done here too. So this is our back dining room. Our kitchen is coming along pretty nicely too. Let's spin around and do the living room, which will be over here. So I think I can maybe fit like a TV stand kind of hiding in there. We'll do hanging plants all along that back wall there and let's pull it together with a fluffy rug. Maybe just like a little end table with like a candle or something. Again, there are a lot of candles in here for our paper house. It's cute though. Okay, so let's go upstairs. This area I'm gonna leave as like farming area, but maybe I can put obviously some lighting in here and I can add maybe like a bee box and some flower things, little flower pots in here. The shovel on the wall. This is serving all of the cottage core vibes. I'm so here for it. Okay, we need the hose here too. There's my little farming area. Let's do, I think this is gonna be maybe a reading area. Maybe I can put like a tiny little bookshelf and a chair, just something cozy. But along the back, I think this right here might be my bedroom. So I'm gonna do the same thing that I did in the front and just kind of like section it off. Oh no, there's a freaking, I forgot about the rounded edges. I knew that would come back to bite us. Okay, I figured it out. So it's a little awkward, uh, but this is my shape. I'm gonna put my bed in here. Hopefully I'll be able to fit a double bed. Oh, this one's perfect. We have to use this one from Outdoor Retreat. So that's gonna go right in here. Uh, section off part of this wall so that it's kind of just like nothing there, but we're gonna put a bookshelf right here so that my reading area, I can put like a little couch out here, maybe an easel or something. Nice and comfy and cozy. Oh my God. 
god, it's so cute. This is the sweetest little build. Like, I feel like that's the best way to describe it. It's just like adorable. Oh, actually, let's do flower making station right here. That makes sense. So flower making station right there. I should have done this when Eco Lifestyle came out. What was I doing? Okay, so we've got our cute little bedroom in here. And then I've got my dresser, the bookshelf hiding in there. Now I just need to figure out what to put on the remaining floor. So I've got just this little part up there. I mean, I guess I could just do like a rooftop patio maybe. I am gonna add landscaping and stuff as well before I finish it off. But let me just do this little part up here. What else could I put from Eco Lifestyle? Maybe I can do like a work area or something. So after all of the decoration and the landscaping, this is my final result of the Sims 4 Eco Lifestyle dollhouse as an actual functional house. I think it looks really cool at nighttime. So I think that's where we're gonna do the walkthrough. I feel like the living room looks really cool. The pond, all of our little details, the farming area looks so cute. Upstairs, what I ended up doing is just this little seating area with a stump as our table, a candle, and I just kind of pulled it together with the fairy lights. And then along the back, I did have a candle making station. I was gonna put a skill item. These windows are a little glitchy. But we just have a single chair and a garden. So this is what the back looks like. At the bottom here, I added a little barbecue and a bar with like a flower thing on it. I think that looked cute. Our bedroom obviously is in there. I didn't have a ladder leading up, so I had to add one in my bedroom to get to that third floor but uh which kind of messed with the lighting a little bit but this is my bedroom we have our dresser in there our reading area slash flower arranging station and i think i'm just gonna finally add a little gate so that sims can go to that farming area this is gonna have nothing in it right now but when the sims 4 cottage living comes out maybe we can add some cute little functional farming things on there as well but this has been our eco lifestyle dollhouse home recreation i hope you guys like this video if you did please like comment and subscribe and that's all i got for you guys today thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video